We're going to be creating this 630,000 viewed reel from Iman Godzi's editor. It is so simplistic and easy, but effective. Like you can see the results. So you guys can achieve such editing like this. My name is Editing Torsten. I help over 1,700 plus creators creating content just like this to get views like this, retention, and presets to help them save as much time as possible. And without further ado, Let's get straight into this tutorial. This entire video is text-based only, so let's not do all the manual work so it takes absurd amount of time. Let's let the program Premiere Pro do the, all the blunt work for us. Go up to your text tab. If you don't have the text tab, go to Windows, all the way down the text. It's gonna be there. Now go to the transcribe button. Let it transcribe. There should be a big blue button, hit that. Hit this little filter thing, hit pauses, and you'll have to cut it up and hit all the pauses, delete all those. Once you do that, go up to your graphics and hit create graphics from transcription. Hit this little carrot. We want all these to the left, single lines only, no double. It's gonna give us a perfectly what we want. Highlight them all. Go up to your essential graphics. If you don't have the essential graphics tab, hit windows. Central graphics is right under effects. Make sure you get effects and effects controls too. So it's a big time saver. And he, I don't know what font he uses, but I'm just gonna use the same font I always use because it's very similar to all these. It's this mono serrate. Just go down, I always use this black. See, it's already nice. I wanna put it in the middle just for now. And it looks like they barely use a shadow. So the shadow I have right now, just copy my settings. I'm gonna turn it down just a little bit. You can see there's barely a little bit of shadow behind it. And now let's get this overlay that he has. In the link in the description, you'll find all my assets plus a free sample. And in that free sample, you get a free just drag and drop already made hook for you guys. And if you want more, then go look at my retention timeline bundle. But if you don't want that and you just want my free stuff, I totally understand that we all are in some hard times right now. <laughs> Go down there, open the link, download all the stuff I've given you. You get a ton of presets I've given you also and this overlay that's been really popular. So go grab that. I'm gonna grab it off of my Premiere Pro Composer. And if you're wondering what this is, go down the link in the description, hit the horse plugin, Mr. Horse's Premiere Pro Composer. So easy. Here, I'll show you exactly. I have all my stuff, it's already always plugged in here. And let me find my safe zones. And now you can see that I have it right here. So I'm just gonna grab it, place it over it. And you can see right now, it's not popping up because it's too big. So let's just do that. Let's resize these by just nesting them and uh, put this down. Just like that, I just resized it. And now we have this nice kind of overlay that it just looks amazing. Now let's get into all the animations for the blunt work. And in order to animate all these, highlight all the captions, go up to graphics and titles on the top, hit upgrade to caption. This will basically let us maneuver, add all the fades in and all these kind of type of effects that you can't do on captions. I learned that the hard way. And let's just, yeah, let's watch this and... True love is when you wake up. So he has a zoom in. I'm just gonna move these up really quick. Let's search up transform effect and put it on the nested or the clip that you have. So we can just get a nice zoom on that and the overlay doesn't get affected. And why we wanna use transform is basically because if we use it on motion, we won't get that nice zoom in motion blur that you would get with the transform effect. So use the composition shutter, uncheck it, crank the shutter all angle all the way up. That's gonna give us that motion blur that we want and just keyframe the scale and position by clicking on this little stop ship watch. Go ahead a few frames like right here. So go on the first frame, zoom in on his face, just like that. And then go a few frames forward, click and resize like that. So now you get just a nice Zoom, looks like that going a little too slow, so I'm gonna actually just bring it to the left and kick, click these little carrots. We're gonna wanna mess around with the 
velocity so it gives a nice like really fast zoom right click and highlight all these hit easy in now let's just go to the left one crank it down and grab the right one and crank it to the left so it gives a nice really fast zoom do the same thing with the bottom perfect now we have the zoom and now let's get into all of the text animations i'm going to bring them down here so we get a good look at them and he puts up true love on the top right and let's just reorganize these so i'm going to zoom out make sure you're on the zoomed out part and just And he stops at wake up. So I'm gonna pull this upwards and put all of these in kind of like a staircase type of maneuver. That's how we're gonna keep going up and up. So make them look exactly like this. Kind of looks like a staircase. And I want you to do is grab all these and put them to the right so it matches the end of this one. This makes it so then all the text doesn't just disappear randomly when you're going. Because watch, I have all these and then this U will just disappear. We don't want that. I'll just grab them, put them to the left. And he does true love. Oh, let's make sure that these are capitalized and let's put it on the top left. Put it in this top right corner. I'm gonna resize it. Just kind of copying exactly what the guy is, okay, that's pretty good. Let me just highlight true love and true. Go to this, grab this. And if you guys want this exact same red, here it is, this is the exact same code. Hit okay. Actually looks like his doesn't have a shadow. So I'm just gonna get rid of all the shadows and I'm gonna make all of these black by just going to essential graphics highlighting them and hitting fill and change it to black it's pretty self-explanatory so i i hit all of these so then i can see what is doing at the end where the kind of zoom ends and basically all you have to do is kind of copy where he puts it so what true of is up here that's a little too big so i'm just going to resize it looks like true is also a little too big nice and then let's highlight is, let's get is in here. All I'm doing, all you do is like I'm doing, resizing, putting it exactly where he is doing it by using these tools right here. I'm gonna move this true up just a little bit so it's not compelling what this is. And now let's just do when, resize them and put them where you want them. I'm, for me, I'm putting them exactly where I need to put them. Awesome. So now that we have that done, he has these all fade in as you can see. So what I've done is I've made my own fade in, but I'm gonna show you also how to make a fade in. A simple fade in is, so let me just show you with this when. So you can see the when, let's resize this so it's a little bigger for you guys. For the when, for a simple and effective one that just works okayly, just go to your opacity and your effects control, hit opacity, put it wherever you want the fade, like put the first keyframe at the start, the last one will be whenever it fades in completely. Go to the first one, crank it to zero, and now you have just this nice little fade in. In my logos and text pack, I have a fade in that I've made, so if you guys want to go down there, use the code EMON for $5 off your order. Not only can you get this fade in with blur, but you also get a ton of other fade ins with like, I'm pretty sure there's 60 plus total. So I'm just gonna highlight all of these and watch this magic happen. Oh yeah. It's perfect because it has a nice motion or it has a nice like fade in blur that we absolutely love and it just looks lovely. Now let's get on to the second part. Kind of the same schmuck. Just do the exact same thing. Grab them all and put them to wherever the years is. And I'm going to put it up on the top right. I'm gonna highlight all of these, or I'm gonna highlight the 15 and years to give it that red that we really want. Boom, 
give the after a capital and put that to black. And I don't really like how his is small, but I'm gonna do it. The after 15 years old years is really simple. Just align it. And I added my fade in with my blur. You guys can get that down in the link in the description with 60 plus other presets. Use the code EMON for $5 off your order and you'll get all of these presets that I have to my right. This text and logo one, so you can see all those. Pretty nice. Really, really helps speed up this editing workflow, but now let's just copy the rest of it. In the morning, you look at your person. That's pretty simple. Let's just do the exact same thing like we've been doing. I'm gonna change these all to black. Now let's put this up to the top. This one too, up again. I'm gonna make this one red and the other ones red too. And then you get something like this. And let's just, once again, give it the exact same effect that you did. And I'm gonna nest these and then just bring them up a little bit and to like the left a little bit. Now it looks a lot better. Now just keep doing that for the rest of the video. But there is one effect that I haven't shown you yet that he uses and the coloring right next to where his buttons are. So on the bottom, you can see that it like kind of goes through his button right here and that too. And all you wanna do for that is I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this them on the bottom. I'm gonna get the same red that we've been using and I'm gonna put it right where it is. Let's just go up to the motion or your opacity and let's scroll down and hit exclusion. Now you have that exact same effect that he is using, see? But if you guys wanna do this way quicker and faster with the entire timeline already laid for you, let me show you something that's pretty cool. I have a product called Retention Timelines Pack. Essentially, it's already edited and pre-made animations. All you do is copy or drag and drop onto your layer, either adjust them to your liking or copy all the attributes and paste it on to your ready captions and it will look like this so i have like one right here it has a zoom out they're all labeled as a text these are flicker and then they fade out so i'm just gonna grab it drag it right over here just because i have all my graphics already laid out i'm just gonna put it right on top of this and i'm just gonna go up to this top one it's gonna grab all the effects i see copy them paste it onto the layers so once you've done it like i have you just get this Perfect, it's literally the exact same example of this thing. And that'll also be down in the link in the description, same with the discount so code. And if you guys wanna learn more about editing and learn how to edit like the king of short form content, Logan Scythe, check this video right over here.